Today's episode is in part brought to you by Skillshare. Welcome back to another video, and today in this rapid fire video, we're gonna talk about this one thing that many writers, even professional ones, they're probably struggling with this one thing, along with the beginners. If you're trying your annual writing for the first time, if you're writing for university, if you're writing on the internet, if you're writing anywhere for a magazine, if you're a commissioned writer, if you're a journalist, at some point you're gonna run into this problem of not being able to note down your thoughts on a page. Sometimes you can have an idea that's so perfect in your head. It's platonic, right? You have all the arguments laid out in your head. You're on a walk and all of a sudden an idea hits you, a eureka moment hits you. But then what happens? The minute you sit down to write that idea on a page, it starts to sound clunky. It starts to sound stupid. And you're finding it really hard to organize what seems so clear to you into something that your audience is going to register. And you find it really hard to follow the flow of the idea, which was previously really clear in your head, but now all of a sudden it is as if you're left with absolutely nothing but your own agony, staring at an empty page. So that's the thing that we're gonna talk about today. And today I'm gonna give you one tip that I've used all throughout college to earn honors grades and at the same time to build a newsletter right now sitting at 16,000 subscribers. So if you wanna learn all these secrets, we will be back to talk about those secrets. But before we do that, just a quick word for today's video sponsor, Skillshare. So speaking of learning how to read and write and learning how to bring reading and writing into your life, Skillshare might be one of my favorite places to master my skills or to even build up the skills to allow me to do what I do right now. And in this case, Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives. All the classes here are led by industry experts across film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and more. So if you want to start a side hustle, if you have a new art project coming up, if you're looking forward to level up your skills in design or video editing or how to master your productivity system, Skillshare is going to have a class for you and I guarantee that. For example, very recently I started to put a lot of effort into my Substack newsletter and I thought to myself, you know, what better way to learn about Substack more than to take a class on Skillshare about Substack. And here it is, a brilliant class by Cody on success on Substack, craft a subscription newsletter worth reading. In addition, if you really want a behind the scenes look at how I do what I do, creating videos for you guys, writing newsletters for you guys, I've also produced a class on Skillshare under the title, Turn Big Ideas into Unique Content, Tools for Creative Writing and Research. Over the course of the summer, I really look forward to leveling up my skills alongside you guys. So if you wanna do just that, check out those two classes from the link in the description down below. And speaking of which, first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So get started today on leveling up your skill and thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now back to solving this thorny problem of not being able to translate your thoughts into writing. Allow me to introduce this tip called the uneven you writing structure. Essentially the two key points of the uneven you writing structure is that first of all, you need to understand what paragraphs do in a piece of writing. A lot of beginner writers just think to themselves, yeah, paragraphs are arbitrary breaks and people can definitely fall into one of two extremes. One is that they have massive paragraphs that are impenetrable or they have really, really short paragraphs that seem to have no logical link with each other. So according to the uneven you writing principle, paragraphs are not arbitrary breaks, but in fact, paragraphs are units of ideas. So when you sit down to write out your ideas, it's not just about scattering these ideas onto the page to form massive or tiny paragraphs, but it's all about organizing these paragraphs into blocks or into self-contained ideas. So a paragraph should ideally start with an introduction to the idea, and by the time this idea finishes up, you're gonna conclude that paragraph. And notice that a lot of really great nonfiction books or a lot of great paper papers or academic papers, their paragraphs, they tend to vary in length. Sometimes you have a tiny paragraph and sometimes you have a massive paragraph. And in this case, the length of the paragraph is in direct proportion with the complexity of the idea. So if you need more length to address a really complex idea, you can assign a larger paragraph to the idea. But if the idea is quite short, quite ancillary, you can then dedicate a smaller paragraph to it. So first principle, a paragraph is a unit of idea. They're not arbitrary breaks. And if you just focus on this one point, if you even just focus on this first point, it's already gonna improve the logical flow of your writing a lot better. And now you might be wondering, now I have all of these paragraphs, so which order should I order them in? How do I assemble all these pieces of paragraphs or all these cohesive ideas into a larger whole? In short, instead of following a set structure for a paragraph, like the structure, move your arguments along different degrees of generality. 
Let me explain that real quick. Notice that when we write, we're constantly making statements, you know, some are more general, like all zebras have black stripes. And the other statements that we make when we write are more specific. For example, Ulysses was published on the 2nd of February, 1922 on James Joyce's 40th birthday. So writing that lacks that sense of cohesive, logical flow also suffers this issue of not being able to modulate degrees of generality. So sometimes they get into something really specific for three paragraphs straight, where other times they're completely lost in generality so there's no sense of modulation of when you should go into the specific details and when you should zoom back out so in this case to restore that logical flow we have to start with something general and then as we move through the paragraph narrow it down to the specific and then zoom back out into the general again toward the end of the paragraph. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna use some numbers here. Don't get creeped out by the numbers. This is not mathematics. We assign a number to every level of generality, one being very specific and five being very general. Then a paragraph should follow the general progression of this. Notice if we plot the progression of the paragraph, it's gonna look like an uneven U. So you typically start with a pretty broad and general statement and you end with a statement that's even broader and more general than the sentence that you started with. And the reason why the last sentence is a lot more general than the first sentence is because you are going to spend the rest of the paragraph diving into the nitty gritty. As you move deeper into the paragraph, you're gonna get into more details, you're gonna get into more case studies, you're gonna size, size statistics, but by the time you re-emerge out of the paragraph into a more general statement, the last statement will be informed by all the specificities that's contained in the meat of the paragraphs. But then through this explanation process, through the paragraph, you're gonna end up with a greater degree of generality. And this greater degree of generality is going to serve as your informed conclusion. And here's a trick to stitch paragraphs together. This concluding statement of the previous paragraph should serve as the starting point of the next paragraph. And for the writing of this new paragraph, you're gonna do that whole uneven you again. So by the time you end that new paragraph, you're gonna achieve even a greater degree of generality. What this is gonna do is that with each new argument or with each new idea, your reader's gonna feel like you're going deeper and deeper and deeper on the issue. And the entire piece of writing is gonna have a really nice logical flow to it. And if we schematize it, it's simply gonna look like this. Paragraph number one, we go from four to one, and then zoom back out towards the end of the paragraph to five, and five turns into the new four for paragraph number two. And as you organize more and more of your ideas, you're gonna have this beautiful piece of writing where the paragraphs have varying length because you're dealing with different complexities of ideas. And these paragraphs naturally lead into one another. So where you start with the idea that you wanna investigate and the writing itself guides the reader deeper and deeper into the issue. And by the time you zoom all the way back out, you're gonna have the broadest conclusion possible as the conclusion of your writing. And I would really encourage you to go study some great pieces of nonfiction works because over time you're gonna to start to realize that actually a lot of people do follow this kind of strategy of argumentation because this way of organizing your ideas and paragraphs is what's gonna ensure your writing from falling off the wagon. It's gonna ensure your writing from going all over the place with no logical flow. And over time, as you practice more and more of this discipline of confining your ideas within the uneven you, a lot of people are gonna ask me, you know, what about creativity? What about discovering your writer's voice? And what about uh, exercising artistic liberty? Now, the beauty with tempering your writing with some kind of schema is that over time, Time, your natural voice is gonna emerge out of the schema. Your natural writing voice is gonna to come to you as a byproduct of having done the work to facilitate a style that ensures that your audience is gonna know what you're talking about. Remember, writing is a tool for you to communicate ideas effectively through fiction, through articles, or through nonfiction writing. So in a sense, when you start off, don't worry about style. Worry about articulating a good idea and your style will come to you almost organically. And at some point you're gonna reach the sweet spot of both being able to articulate your ideas effectively and embodying the style that makes you an exciting voice in writing. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video on the uneven you writing structure. And this is Robin Walden and I will see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.